new footage has just emerged of Saifedean Rezgi. You can see that footage now, carrying his gun on the beach in Sousse. We're about to see him uh, go behind that tree. He'll re-emerge in just a moment. Uh, this footage uh, was filmed by a Czech holidaymaker who was staying in one of the nearby hotels at the time of the attack. And you'll remember, of course, that uh, the 23-year-old that you can now see approaching the middle of your screen there killed 38 people with the gun that he's carrying there in his right hand, 30 of them British. Uh, let's bring in our senior correspondent, uh, Ian Woods, who's looking at these pictures. Ian, is it possible to establish at what stage of the attack these pictures were taken? I think this is the latter stage of the, uh, the attack, uh, because th there's, there's a reason now for the uh, holidaymaker to film something. This attack lasted for more than, than half an hour, and uh, people were cowering in their rooms and looking out back onto the beach. And this appears to be uh, the, the later stages, uh, perhaps a few minutes before he was then driven off the beach by Tunisians and then tracked by the police and shot and killed in an alleyway behind the hotel. This, to my knowledge, I think is the third different piece of video that has emerged uh, off the gunman on the beach. One is a, a shot which shows him running from the sea towards the hotel, again in the latter stages uh, of the attack. Uh, there is the other famous one which was uh, obtained exclusively by Sky News when we see a hotel worker filming what is going on after the initial gunfire and while Rezgi is still marauding his way through the hotel and he picks up a, an olive, a bottle of olive oil to try to attack him and it, you get a sense of Tunisians trying to drive him uh, away from the hotel and protecting holidaymakers. So this is the third uh, piece of footage which is, is, is coming uh, out now and I think the very fact that you can't see anybody else in, in, sh in shot there suggests that the attack has happened, people have run away from the scene, locals uh, are perhaps forming the line of, uh, that we have seen behind him and trying to sort of push him away from the hotel. So uh, it doesn't particularly add anything new to our version of events, I don't think, but uh, still chilling nonetheless uh, to see him walking around so, I want to say aimlessly, but clearly he had a, a murderous intent, but uh, so nonchalantly. Casually, exactly. And although you say it doesn't necessarily add to our knowledge of the sequence of events, presumably any footage that the security services can get their hands on in Tunisia and in, in Britain as well will be very closely analysed because there are still a lot of unanswered questions, aren't there? Still some suggestions that he may not have been acting alone. Yeah, I mean, there were reports from, from several British holidaymakers that they believed that there had been a, a second gunman. We don't know whether that was simply confusion with, with security uh, uh, forces or... or or, or what, but certainly the Tunisians have always said that uh, he acted alone uh, on the beach. This footage, uh, as you say, comes from a Czech holidaymaker. It may be that it's only emerging now because it's only now that the Czech holidaymaker has, has gone home and has uh, uploaded it or, or, or whatever. Certainly a lot of the British holidaymakers, in fact, almost all the British holidaymakers who were coming home from uh, the Tunisian resorts were questioned by the police when they got to the other end to find out if they had any information, if they had any photographs, if they had any video to be able to build up this, this picture. It's clearly a Tunisian investigation which will be going on into the identity of possible accomplices. But the British authorities still have to put together as accurate a picture as they can of what happened to each of the individual fatalities because uh, a, a, an inquest will be held in due course. Possibly it will take several years for it all to come together. But they will want to establish how he killed each of the holidaymakers, whether it was on the beach where the massacre began near the swimming pool where he emerged and, and walked through and then he walked through the hotel out of the reception and out to the front gates of the hotel on the other side and was still killing people on the other side of the hotel as well so they want to try to build up as much of a picture as they can as to how each of those individual people were killed.